Hey guys, uh, this is Teaser from ECNDE and I'm here with uh, Chris J from uh, Marsbots. Chris, thanks a lot for taking the time. So, um, this is a sad week for us Germans. Uh, we lost against uh, France and uh, Marsbots didn't qualify for the playoffs uh, for the ESL1 Cologne. Um, after the match, uh, fans gave a lot of uh, yeah, reasons why uh, um, you lost uh, against Team Liquid. But what are your thoughts? Um, what were, can you point out any, any reason why you, why you lost the match? this match um, any reason why we lost the match I mean it feels like there's quite a few reasons like our tactical game wasn't on point individually players didn't perform as good as I could uh, myself obviously included nobody stepped up in the game if we had someone that's really stepped up we probably would have got at least more rounds on Mirage we maybe would have won a couple it all came together again that it didn't click at uh, the right moment, sadly. Okay, so um, the German community uh, always has the expectation that Mousepods really needs to be at least a top 10 team. Um, do you think this is reasonable and uh, is this a lot of pressure for you as a team? I think it's reasonable and I think actually we are a top 10 team, but... Um, Showing on the biggest stage that you are really the and proving that you are a top team is sometimes something else. Like we have the skill to be one of the best teams and we know that, but somehow we need to fix something in our mind or in our preparation or dedication for the game. Maybe other teams give more before the majors than us. Somehow it's, it's, it's not enough yet. Okay, so there is this phrase, uh, Nico Sports. Uh, what do you personally think and uh, what do you think as a, as a team about this? Do you feel like Nico Sports? Well, after this major I certainly don't. Uh, Nico also didn't really... Well, Nico didn't play as good as he can at all. Uh, he can play way better, which he showed in the past. Um, in the past, Nico did carry really hard some games. Or quite a lot of games and often it depended on his uh, performance if he would win or not so people can say that it's it's I mean I've heard worse things about myself and about the team before like uh, people always were flaming me that I'm an onliner or that uh, when you lose people are insult you with the worst things you read a lot of stuff online so we we as a team we we're not affected by it that much people write what they want we mostly ignore it um, what do you think about the importance of a traditional in-game leader? Do you think that could be beneficial for you as a team, even if you maybe lacks firepower? Mm, well, the traditional way is that the in-game leader is also playing in the team, so I don't think that's necessary. But uh, what we're trying to do now with Kassat as well, over the long term, it, it didn't work now before the wager yet, but that he's going to take over the in-game leading from Nico mostly, relieve him uh, of some pressure of calling and uh, directing the other guys. So, I think we need that. I mean, it's clear that this tournament Nico couldn't play his own level. If it's because of tactics, if it's because of pressure, we don't know. But for sure, if someone is calling instead of him, it would uh, give him more room to do something. And that's probably going to help. Okay, so there are a lot of uh, rumors about possible changes in Mauer Sports. Um, mainly Oscar, for example, is a player that is uh, 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 named a lot. Uh, can you comment on this? No, I cannot. Okay. Um, so that's all I have for now. Uh, any shout outs for the German community, for your fans and uh, sponsors? Really, thanks to all the fans. It means a lot to us that you still support us. We're going through hard times, and I hope you stick with us till it gets better.